So what I'm trying to do right now is get a right angle in the shop. So both walls are at a perfect perpendicular, 90 degree angle. And so I got the, the back wall on that, the long, the, that would be the length of the shop. This is gonna be the, the front of the shop where the doors will be. And what I'm trying to do is make sure that that corner is a perfect right angle. So the mathematical equation that you use is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. You know, it's it's amazing that, you know, the Pythagorean theorem, you wouldn't think that you'd use this math anytime outside of high school. And here I am, that smart aleck kid, too cool for school. When am I ever going to use this? Well, I'm using a lot of it. And so you have to kind of <laughs> remind yourself, I've been out of high school for a long time, and I'm actually using high school equations to do this pad. So I'm just creating a right angle. If I was to eye it, just take a look at the difference here. So this is me eyeing it. This is for those people who think close enough is good enough without doing the math. That's off by over a foot and three inches. You can't make straight walls when you're off by a foot and three inches. Now, half an inch, quarter of an inch, that's justifiable. But a whole foot? Are you kidding me? You know, when you look at it and say, oh, that's good enough, no, it's not. You got to do the math. You got to figure this out. So I'm using that book over there that I showed you. And the equation is uh, basically three, four, two, three um, on one side, four on the other, and then five would be the Pythagorean theorem part. So what I did is I multiplied by four and I did 12 feet over on the side, 16 on this side, and 20 across. So my next goal is to run the front side of the building to this corner over here which would be 40 feet. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the back corner over there, which I will do, and I'll run it back this way. And then hopefully where the shop crosses at the diagonal, it will be equal distance. That's the goal. The final corner here, as you can see, I was off by about six inches here, nail to nail. And I was short six inches on the run for the 50 feet that I needed. I used the diagonal measurement and I'm pretty much really close to that. I'm really, really almost right on the money. Is this easy to do? No, it's not. I mean, if you do it all the time, sure. But this is without laser sights. And I can't even imagine or fathom how the Egyptians did it. I mean, with that huge pyramid in Giza, those pyramids, it just amazes me. Here I am on my plot of land. I have 10 acres and I'm just trying to figure out a 40 by 50 shop. And uh, the Egyptians can be right, right into it uh, way back thousands of years ago. So, you know, are we getting dumber? As the future goes by, a lot of people say that we're evolving. Um, I'm not so sure about our minds. Are our minds evolving or are we de-evolving as we get further and further away? Did our ancestors know more than us? That's a good question to ask. It goes counter to science. Science thinks that we're getting smarter as we go. Um, being a teacher, I don't agree with that. I think that uh, seeing the kids that are coming to the classroom, we got a few good bright kids. But it seems that apathy is winning over the minds of kids. They don't really understand the systems that we have and how they work. Uh, they know how to play with things. They know how to use things. Uh, but to calculate math like this, most of the kids hate math today. And this is like the building blocks of our civilization and the essence of our life. And not to be able to do simple math like the Pythagorean Theorem and to plot a piece of ground like this. Uh, just shows a detriment to our education system. It's not the teacher's fault per se. I would say it's just this this attitude of pure hatred for math when they walk in the door and the teachers are doing the best they can, but it seems like the movies, the TV series, the just 
commercials always paint education as boring and dull and you just kind of that's not what it's about you know it, you know you can't be entertained every three seconds which is the attention span of the average human being now it's like three to seven seconds you know oh scene change i've actually left this camera in the same position way too long i probably lost already 90 percent of you it's just sad what we we're becoming but to pull this out and actually use it uh, years after high school, um, it makes me realize how important uh, what my lessons were in high school. Mm -hmm.